But it definitely made the bell ring. There's a fish on there. Yes, there is. There's a fish on there. We got a little spot. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Look at that. Nice little gator trout. Oh yeah. Yeah, look at you. Nice channel catfish here. All right, everyone. It's about 6.30 in the evening on the 24th of July. It's been another hot one. Been another hot one. Stayed inside most of the day. But I decided to walk down to the beach here near the house at Flag Harbor and make a few casts out into the surf. We'll call it that way. Basically, we've got a flat, calm day. I've got my 10-foot rod sitting in my rod holder. Want to see if anything's biting. Maybe we'll catch a spot, a little croaker. I don't know. Let's find out if we can catch something today. Make a cast. Walk it back into my rod holder. Flip the bail. Put my bell on there. Nice tight line. Let's see if we can catch something. That was a bite. Here at the beach at St. Leonard. I don't know if it's still on there or not. It was definitely a bite. Takes a while to reel all that line in. But it definitely made the bell ring. There's a fish on there. Yes, there is. There's a fish on there. We got a little spot. We got a nice size spot, quite honestly. On the fish bites. Top hook. There we go. Little spot. Okay, before I cast my line after catching that one spot, there's one thing I need to make sure I do. I need to make sure I take my bell off. I've actually cast with the bell on there and lost it, of course. So let's take that off and make another cast. When I'm bank fishing, or if we want to call it surf fishing here at the bay, one of the things I like to do, of course, is to try to keep my line above any breakers. Well, that's easy to do. But I also like to make sure I keep a tight line. So every once in a while, if the sinker that's on there kind of moves in a little bit, I'll wind it in, make sure I've got a nice tight line. That way I can look and see, hey, that's a bite. I've got that bell on there to help me out as well system. Basically, I've got a milk crate, a little longer one, piece of threaded steel with U-bolts and wheels from an old pool golf cart that I used to have. A couple pieces of PVC work as my rod holders and then my handle is just a piece of PVC held on by U-bolts as well. It's working for me. I had a shake. It's 
coming straight back towards me. It's not like it's swimming. I could have overpowered it though. With the... well, it's kind of going to the right. There's a fish on there. Yeah, there's a fish on there. That's got a fish. Another spot. Have we got another spot? Yes, we do. Another nice size spot, quite honestly. On the top hook. Come here, buddy. I'm going to let you go. The bell is not a necessity, it's more of a luxury. The fish I'm catching aren't terribly big, I mean about the size of my hand. So they're just going to give a little nibble, a little tug. If I were out here fishing for redfish or, 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 or large croaker or something like that, they'd give me a good pull and I could actually see it. Here I'm seeing maybe a little bit of a twitch, but I'm hearing that jingle that helps. If you don't have a bell, pick one up somewhere, they'll benefit you. Add another pull. And there's another fish. What have we got this time? Another small spot? Yes, sir. Oh, mercy, if I had a bigger hook, you'd be on it, buddy. If I had a bigger hook, you'd be on it. Okay, so we're running out of daylight here. I've made my last cast. We'll see how it does. Three spot, all on fish bites, on the bottom, fishing from the shoreline here on the Chesapeake Bay. Easy fishing. Throw a bait out, have it sit on the bottom, let something swim by, taste it, swims off with it, set the hook, and bring it in. Hopefully I'll catch something on this last one, but if I don't, until next time, tight lines. Did I swim off? There he goes. I was saying, if you watched my video that I called Anglers Are Optimists from down at Atlantic Beach, I'm using the same rod, but I had to pick up a new reel. When I was in Atlantic Beach, the rod fell over into the surf and of course, got pretty salty. When I got home, put new line on it, was gonna try it, I couldn't even wind it. It got corroded so badly. So I had to get a new reel. So take care of your stuff and keep it out of the salt water.